Hello, my friends. Welcome. Hey, we're doing a grocery haul today. I'm going to a couple different stores and I thought I'd bring you along. Let's go shopping, show you the prices, show you the total. It's gonna be a good time. Come on. Marv, how you doing? 100% these are not groceries, but 100% these are super cool. So I have a big bucket and I think if I filled it up with water, these kids could have a lot of fun shooting each other with water. 9.98, that's it for two of them, up to 70 feet. The game is over if they shoot me unless I get in on it too. So I better get a couple of these because I want the neighborhood kids to come over and be able to play with them too. All right, that's two sets of them. Let's get more. I'm gonna get one more, this is craziness, but I really want the neighborhood kids to have fun and come over and the kids to have fun. You gotta have stuffs to do it, right? 9.98 for these guys. The kids all had strep and it was a crazy time and so we were getting the plastic water bottles just to make it easy. They all have like this plastic band to put around it to differentiate whose is whose, which I'll show you. I'll link it in the description if you wanna get it on Amazon, they're super cheap, but anyway. All that to say, we're getting some more of these plastic bottles, just maybe another round or two, 7.78. It just really helps us to drink water and not share. We don't wanna share the germs anymore. We're becoming huge egg connoisseurs and the pasture raised eggs are fantastic, $4.94. Have you guys had the Members Mark dried strawberries? I'll show you the bag a little bit later if I can, but they're sampling them right now, they look good. Those are so good and they're kind of tangy and sweet. Ooh, that'd be kind of a fun little snack. I'll tell you what, those strawberries are really tangy. They keep making me, mm, but they taste good, but they're tangy. My tongue's like, mm, what? We've also got to try the lemon tiramisu. I've seen it, but I haven't tried it. Cheers. Ooh, mm. That's dangerous. There's some kind of like white little flakes in it. I think it's white chocolate. They do melt, but at first I wasn't expecting that. Delicious, perfection. We need some of this uh, triple berry blend. We're doing smoothies a lot lately. We kind of stopped for a long time. 10.88 for this guy. I grabbed one of these last week and I just had it the other day, the entire thing. I'm not, I'm not mad about it. Chopped salad kit, this is the Southwest and it's 2.68 for the bag. Definitely need some strawberries and I'll, I'll show you what I do when I get home with all my fruits and veggies, okay? You're gonna love it. I think this box is the one for strawberries, 467 for two pounds. Really not bad, actually very good. The kids are wanting some more lemonade and I did get a new thing to hold all of my drinks and stuff. So now we have to put it into practice, don't we? 398 for three pounds of lemons. These look lovely. Grabbing romaine hearts, they're 478 for the six of them. And this can actually last quite a long time just leaving it in this bag. We got some salad seed. I'm hoping they're gonna be able to cut this for me today. So I get the pork loin and I make them into pork chops. I have Sam's Club cut it for me and they're typically able to do that. It's free, they cut it for free. Um, and it's a lot cheaper per pound to just buy the pork loin, have them cut it and put it into pork chops. See what I'm saying? It's clever. We'll do this one. Then what I do when I get home is I put them on a tray and put them in the freezer. And that way, um, once they're frozen, I can put them into a bag. They don't stick to each other. And then I just take out what I need when I need it. While we're waiting, we can check out what they've got. Italian style herb grilled chicken breast. Ooh, ooh. Twice baked potatoes with sour cream and bacon. Yes, mac and cheese. We actually haven't bought the petite hoagies for a little while. $6.98, it's just because we like them just like this. Nothing special to them. There's no like chicken salad going in there, nothing. It's just this. Here's my pork chops all cut up for me. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, lay them on a tray. You can put parchment paper down and then stick the whole tray in the freezer and uh, they'll harden up and then easily go into a plastic Ziploc bag and you don't have to worry about them sticking together. That's a problem I've had. I know you can wrap them all up in plastic wrap if you want, put each one in an individual plastic bag, but this saves plastic bags and just makes it easy peasy. Sadly, today is not Friday, Flower Friday, but I'm still gonna get some flowers because they just make my heart so happy. This one's kind of pretty, isn't it? Or do we want one with the red? No, this one's speaking to me right here. We just. I'm kind of like, once I like it, just go with that, don't change. 15.88, Friday flowers on a Saturday, yep. My brain was totally like freaking out for a second. I don't have my contacts in, so things are a bit blurry, okay? Don't tell anybody. And uh, I saw this man with a hat on, and I promise you I thought it was my dad. Like six times I kept looking at him, and I'm thinking, don't, don't watch me looking at you. <laughs> I kept thinking, why is my dad here and why isn't he noticing me? And then it wasn't him. I'm really glad I didn't say anything. It's one of those, hey, just kidding. I didn't actually say, hey, and I'm really glad I didn't. You know how I love my button down shirts. Have you noticed that? I just wear these a lot and I keep seeing this shirt and thinking I should buy that. And then I don't, but then I, I just really want to. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do that. 16.98 and I, I need to find the right size though. Hopefully I've got it. 
It just looks easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, and I think I'm going to go with it. Oh, darn. I really want this striped shirt, but they only have it in extra, extra large. Oh, extra small. No, definitely not. Sad. I bet I could get that online, but I don't know if I'm going to go that far. I could get another pink thing. Mm, nah. You know how much we love our vitamin C, and I guess we're buying Gushers to get the vitamin Cs. It's gluten-free, guys, so don't judge. 42 pouches, $12.88, because there's a new lower price. One ten less than it used to be. I forgot to grab the Broccoli Normandy when I was over here in the freezer section. Six ninety eight. you get four bags in there, and I just roast them. I throw them olive oil, salt, pepper, 450, 20 minutes, it's heaven. And then you can do your meat on the side. It just, listen, it's just the easiest way to do food. I love it. All right, my friends, I'm gonna check out because that's all I need here from Sam's Club, but we're gonna go to another store. Supposedly, today is like Members Mark special celebration day. They do it once a year. I didn't know about it till this year. And um, because I'm using Scan and Go, I get some kind of big surprise. So I'm gonna Scan and Go, I'll tell you the total, and then I'll let you know what my surprise is. I'm really, ooh, what could it be? Guys, I met three different people that know me from the Grocery Lady channel, so that was a lot of fun. And if you're over here recently from the Grocery Lady channel, hi, welcome, I'm glad you're here. Um, 173 was my total at the old Sam's Club. Wondering what the gift was that I got? It's not. <laughs> I got there and there was like no gift. I, was like, I thought I was getting a present for using Scan and Go. You get like free curbside pickup. I already get that because I'm a Plus member. Or you can get free delivery, which I already get, and maybe something else. I was like, I already, already get that. So I guess it's not that exciting. But still, I had a ton of fun. You know, I back in the day, I used to think, oh my word, I'd be so embarrassed. Um, because I wouldn't know what to do if somebody who saw the channel came up and talked to me I, I thought I was gonna ruin it and be like awkward and weird which I probably still am and I'm I can handle that um, At this point I can handle that But it's always such a delight meeting people out and about I've met several people over the years So anyway all that to say I'm trying to consider where I want to go For some things. I think I want to go to Meyer. Yeah, I really do But then again, I do I want to go to Aldi? They got the steaks that I really like at Meyer, and I haven't looked at the steaks if they have them actually at Aldi. As much time as I spend there, I'm not in the steak area very often, so I wonder if those could be good. I bet they are. You know what? Let's live on the wild side. Let's go to Aldi. Okay, you convinced me. Come on. If you've never been to Aldi, you won't know this, or maybe you do. You have to have a quarter in order to get the cart. It releases it from the cart in front of it. This is the first time in a very long time that I have not had my quarter. I have a lot of dimes, but I don't have any quarters. Um, oftentimes someone will hand you their cart uh, and not ask for your quarter, or somebody will just be so kind and they'll just leave the quarter in and like set it there for maybe somebody that needs it. I'm the one that's gonna need it right now. So here's hoping for the best. When I walked up to get my cart, a quarter was sitting right here. Look at that guys. I still have my dimes just in case I needed them, but I am so thankful. <laughs> All right, guys, it's only time. We got cilantro for 95 cents. I don't know why we have an obsession with cilantro and why we don't just grow our own, but that's a whole nother story. So just convince me to do it. And one of these days I might, it's been years since I've tried cilantro, but maybe today's the day. I don't know, 95 cents. Zion was asking for grapes. She really likes them. So 235 for these guys, and they're the firm ones. I don't like any mushy ones. These are perfection. Also, we got some cauliflower that just needs to come home with us. 289. And then we've also got some broccoli. This is $1.49 a pound, not too terrible. Made with whole grain white bread right going on here. I haven't made sourdough since I came back from Florida. I had to remake my starter and it was all ready to go. And I've just, life has been full. So this week my plan is to do that because I got some yummy stuff I want to make um, to put on top of the toast of goodness from the sourdough. So anyway. All that to say, either way, whether I was making sourdough or not, I'd still be buying this bread. So here it is for $1.99. Did you like that story? Sorry. I need a couple things of unsweetened applesauce. 3 dollars I think I'm gonna grab two. And then milk time, two fifty-five. I am probably gonna grab three, I think. Look at this expiration date, the 5th of May. Can you believe it's coming on May already? This is crazy. Pack up the corn, love this stuff that it's steamable, 95 cents. That was a quick shop over there at Aldi. It was like $26 for everything. I just love going out of Aldi. Never have I left Aldi and thought, oh, I spent too much. I'm usually like, that's it? Wow. 
Um, I do have to go to Walmart, which is just right behind me. And you're going to be like, Megan, that's all you're getting at Walmart. You couldn't have gotten that, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, I couldn't. I had to go to Walmart to get it. I just have a few things to get over there. And then um, I'll give you that total. Don't leave though. We're gonna go home and do a couple things, okay? Okay, come on, let's go to Wally. I need a couple russet potatoes. They're 98 cents a pound. I have one at home and usually we go through three. Marcus eats one, I eat one, and then Israel enjoys one too. So I'm only gonna get two, although I feel like I should get three. No, two. Don't get crazy, Megan. You ever have to talk yourself out of stuff? I do. That's how you save money too. Can we have that moment here and just talk about that? I think those two are going home. Listen, I think a lot of people have a fear of not having enough. Um, maybe because they had a time in their life when they didn't have enough or they wanna make sure everybody's happy. But oftentimes we really do know how much we eat and then we just have a lot of waste. But that's one of the ways you can save money and have less waste is just only buying what you know you'll actually eat, you know? I know it's hard, it's hard, but once you get in the habit of doing it, it becomes a lot easier. We need ice cream because it's a need. Yes, I did say needs. <laughs> 278 for the great value chocolate. 278 for the great value mint chocolate chip. Ooh, Colombian coffee, that sounds really good. I love coffee flavored ice cream. Five nuggets. Yeah, every now and again I buy these. These are 696 for the fun nuggets. Tonight, with the burgers, we're gonna do the red rubin steak fries. How much are these guys? Is it $2.70 or $4.72 I think. I just realized that I didn't look at the steak at Aldi. You know what? I practically live at Aldi so next time in a couple days when I go back I'll look at it then. All right, two forty-eight for the chicken stove top. I was supposed to make pumpkin pie, but instead I made pumpkin muffins. But people still want pumpkin pie, but I haven't made it yet, so that means I need to make it. Dollar forty-seven for the pumpkin puree, but I'm also gonna make more pumpkin muffins. Oh, the life I live. Okay, there they are. Two cans of it, dollar forty-seven each. Oops, look what fell into my cart. The oops all berries. Yeah, because the yellow ones that come in the regular one, for some reason the kids don't like them. How can you tell? You put it all in your mouth, it all tastes the same. Anyway, uh, these are $4.93, I think, for the family size of the Cap'n Crunches, Oops All Berries. And the mega size of the Rice Krispies is $6.28. I also wanted to get some rice checks, $4.93 for this one. We have cereal Fridays, and um, I wanna make sure that we've got some cereals that are enjoyable for people. I wanna know, what is your all-time favorite cereal? I'm talking like, don't think about health, don't think about nutrition, just think, what do your taste buds get really happy about? from when you were a kid, now, whatever. Lucky Charms is my all-time favorite. Um, a little Crunchberry, second favorite. A little juicy fruit going on for 378. How many packs are in there? Is it four or three? Three, got it. Great value vanilla. I think it's like two something. We need some new flossers. The ones that we got, I think we got them from Costco or Sam's Club. They're great, but they're the kind that kind of break easily. I don't even know where they're at. Up here, I feel like they break very easily. And we had bought some that I feel like we're more like these, where they're the double and they're a little more tough and we all prefer them. So I'm gonna get the huge one right there. Um, I don't know how much it is, <laughs> but I, I know it's gonna be good. Also, the girls wanted to get some toothbrushes like the boys that were the electric or, well, the battery operated ones. And they're just around 572 each for these. So I got three different ones for the girls. Also, we're out of Band-Aids, $1.54. And I'm just gonna get these. They actually work really well. I think this is like the, Walmart-ish brand, you know, you get 20 of them a lot cheaper than the actual brand. Okay, two of those, so we're always set. And Pringle time, these are $2 for the can. I'm gonna grab two of them. We like the barbecue. And even more exciting, it has Minecraft stuff on it. What's your favorite Pringles flavor? Last thing I'm getting, our green beans are $1.78 a pound, and I'm just gonna get the whole bag of them. We'll use them a couple different nights, but we like green beans. The old Wally world, what did we spend? <laughs> 92.07, rude. So I didn't do the maths, folks. Somewhere along the line, somewhere over $200 or so for my three stores. I didn't get my steak, but that's the only thing. Next time we'll pop by somewhere and get some steak when we need it, but we're good until then. Uh, I'm gonna run home, put some stuff away, and I'll show you some of my fancy ways of putting it away. Join me, shall you? Okay. We've arrived home and there's so many things. You wanna put some stuff away with me? I haven't done this with like on video for a really long time. So we can make it look pretty in the fridge and the freezer. And I'll show you some of my special trips and trips and ticks? No, tips and tricks. FYI, dishwasher's going in the background. People live here, you might hear some noises. Just 
pretend it's not happening, shall we? Now, before you tell me, Megan, don't put your milk in the door. I'm putting my milk in the door, okay? Okay. We go through our milk very quickly. I've never had a problem ever, ever, ever. Milk is going in. I'm a little bit of a rebel, aren't I? I know. We've got the eggs. These are the strawberries that we just bought. We're gonna put those in a jar here in a second, but we've gotta move over. We still have Easter treats in here. This poor bunny, gone, head is gone. See, here's the whipped cream for that pumpkin pie we never made, but we're gonna make it mm, today or tomorrow. Mark my words, it's gonna happen. I've got pickle goodness going on over here. I kind of wonder, where can we put that? The only problem with these not being in a jar is there's just all these little bags. Probably should have kept them in the pantry and like only pulled a couple out into the fridge, but I didn't do that. We're just gonna put these down here. We'll organize this momentarily. So hang on to your boots and we'll get that situated. Back yonder, remember I told you how I need to make sourdough? That guy's gonna be coming out this week to sourdough up. This, this pico de gallo, we used up as much as we could, but it's going to another world right now because it's yucky. I always leave my romaine in the bag. Um, this guy has little holes in it. It's the only way I've figured out how to make it last. Some of you have told me in the past, wrapping them in aluminum foil is good. This is how I do it and it just, it just does it. But I also put it up higher where it's a bit colder. So I'm not sure how much of an impact that has, but Gotta keep the lettuce up front and center. This is always your reminder. Do not buy salad if you're not gonna eat it. Have I learned this from personal experience? Yes, even recently, absolutely. I'm just saying, don't let it come here to die. Leave it at the store for somebody else if you're not gonna eat it. If you're gonna eat it, buy it, enjoy it. I'm giving you permission. Do you feel released? You should. Okay, I'm not gonna be doing anything with these right now. If I was being a good girl, I totally would, but I'm, I'm living you know, a dangerous life by leaving them just like this, hoping that I'll use them. Johanna really likes them enough that I don't usually have a problem with them going bad. So salad and whatever's, these things need to be eaten this week. I'll be doing that. Peppers down here are good. We're gonna be using those very soon for some fajitas. So if I wasn't gonna be using them very quickly, I would probably de-seed them and then cut them into quarters and put them in a jar, not even cut them into slices, unless I wanted to. Um, you can also freeze them, of course, if you don't want them to go bad, but they're gonna be fine right there because they're gonna get used up very, very soon. We're gonna leave the fridge for a second, go down to the snack drawer and just do a quick organizing. I leave chocolate chips. If you're new, I leave chocolate chips in the fridge because I don't want them to get melty in the summertime. My cabinets tend to get on the warmer side even with the air on, so it's just the way to go with all of that. Okay, did you see where I put my pickles? I'm gonna keep them down here. I think that makes them happy. And, well, that was already organized. I feel good about that. A couple things have already been put away, uh, but I want to get rid of that ice cube. This is where I keep all the yummy things, waffles, I put um, a couple of frozen veggies up here, the frozen berries. I have this cheesecake we haven't eaten up. So we've got to make some things fit. I would prefer to have the ice cream up here too. Because ice cream and vegetables go very well together. Mm -hmm. We gotta make it all fit, so let's see how we can do that. I'm gonna stick that there kind of flat because sometimes it defrosts slightly and then it's not so fun to take care of. The broccoli normandy, I'm gonna take it out of the big bag and make that fit. Kind of the odds and ends like 
I've just got a couple of things of bacon in here. And I've got some sausage and a ham and just like three things of some salmon. And then when I make calzones, I have um, sausage and I have green peppers that have all been chopped up. So that makes it really easy to make it. And then I just have this tiny thing of steak because I told you I wanted to get it, but I didn't get it. So I'm gonna put it here. This is all like the, just, there's just a little bit left. Oh, that's what I was looking for, the corn. He's gotta go up here with the peas and the broccoli and all the things. Cut up onion. Okay, I'm really glad I didn't buy steak. Obviously, I didn't go through my pantry and make sure I had what I needed. Mmm, breaking my own rules. Yeah, every now and again I do get crazy and I don't follow the rules. More terms and stuff. We have a couple things to put away in the pantry. What do we got going on here? Oh, I know. Okay, so let's just make sure everybody is so happy. Yes, that shelf looks gorgeous. Down here, we've got olives for days. I just bought all those. We'll put our pumpkin puree in here, and I think the chipotle peppers can go up there. So this is kind of fruits. There's olives. There's some beans in here. What else do we have? We've got our pumpkin puree. These black beans from bushes, divine. Next week, we're gonna have to buy some pasta because I only have three boxes, shockingly enough. Applesauce is all gonna go in the fridge, both of them. They go kind of quick like and I just don't think that room temperature applesauce is all that great. Can anybody else agree with that or no? Is it just me? We're gonna be eating these green beans tonight and then after that whatever's left over I'll probably put it in a jar and stick it in the fridge. That'll help it to last a long time. I've got some really big jars so I'll be able to fit whatever we don't use into there. The big question is how we're gonna get these huge boxes of cereal to fit. I do have smaller boxes that I put things in but sometimes we resort to leaving them on the counter until we eat them down. Okay. Ooh, I got a lot of Cheerios left over. At first they were all about it and then not so much. So maybe what I need to do is make something yummy with Cheerios. Best, most fun recipe you have to use up Cheerios, let me know. Okay, we've got a little bit of this guy left. For now, we're gonna leave this in the box because I know that if I put this into one of the easier to pour containers, um, it's gonna be way too much. So, oh dear, it's not good. Oh, it does, it barely closes. <laughs> you all know these are gonna get eaten before Friday cereal day, don't you? You knew that before I even said it. Well, it's fine. We'll still have some when Friday comes. Crackers and pretzels for days. If we can do something solid. Yay, victory! I thought there was another little tiny bag, so I'm going to put this in with the other one. It now fits. The teeniest amount of chips. I don't know that anybody's gonna go for it, but what is it about the end of the bag that just makes people say, nah, reuniting the fam? all the pork chops I put them in two layers I'll throw one more thing of parchment paper over the top of it and I just set it in my freezer it doesn't take too too long for them to freeze through and then we'll bag them up you're probably not gonna be around for that though do you feel bad I'm sorry strawberries last forever and ever and ever. Unwashed, straight from the store. Now make sure that nothing has mold on it. Any really squishy wet spots, not good because the moisture is what's gonna make these go bad faster. But if we stick them in here and then wash them as we go, these can last a crazy, crazy long amount of time. What's up, babe? Can I open this now? Did 
you get your toothbrush? I'm gonna open it. Well, you gotta give me a second. I'm putting away all the veggies and the fruit. I did say veggies and fruit. Okay. These are not veggies. You're right. They're just fruit, aren't they? Grapes going in. Are those, are those grapes? These are grapes. Do you like grapes? No. No? What are those kind of food? What food? These Thank are strawberries. You know that. Here's a no, what kind of flavor are they? What kind of flavor are they? Oops. They're like really good flavor. Do you like straw? Would you like strawberry? They're sweet. What do you like? These you do kind of like these? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta do this one right here. That gonna have. They're stuck here. Yeah. To do that one. Mhm. Mm okay. The ones that are loose, I'm gonna check them. Sometimes the loose ones, um, they got problems. You know. And the other Don't we one? all? Oh, not yet. Not yet. I got the these fellas in there. Okay, blend it up, sister. Oops, I got the wrong size lid. Hold on. Uh-oh. You got the wrong one? I needed a bigger one. Can you go like this? Very good. Okay, wash them before you eat them. Keep them in here. And now they're ready to go. Typically, I stick them um, all fruits and veggies and stuff like that up at the top because I think it looks beautiful and it's very enticing. You want to eat it. I don't know that I'm going to get those to fit, so let's see. Oh, there's... Where there's a will, there's a way. I made it work. And then we've got one more jar. Where did we put them? Oh, down here. Ooh, they don't fit great. Once we give it a day or two and once we eating up everything i'll be able to organize it better right less is more all right my friends that's the end of a little grocery haul a little put away i'm gonna go make some burgers now and eat them with delight i hope that you guys have an amazing day thanks for hanging out with me and i hope that you'll stick around for the next video we'll talk to you soon bye guys bye bye bye, -bye. show them your toothbrush yeah which one did you get this guy. Who's on there? Gabby. Gabby and the Pandy. cat. And Pandy. We forgot our crowning glory. We've got to put our pretty flowers out. Done.